Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this session uh, about how to display a balloon pop-up with PowerShell. So a balloon pop-up is something like uh, you must have noticed sometimes a notification here on the on the right of your taskbar. So it's very useful for uh, just giving some status to user and uh, so I found it very useful so I thought we can use it in PowerShell. Uh, so we can uh, we can provide some status message to his user or provide some how much percent uh, something is done or any task is completed so um, in partial you know we can utilize nearly all the dotnet features uh, whatever is available and uh, whether it's a GUI tool or a console based so we have all the options available for us and uh, sometimes you must have noticed that uh, whatever output is coming is an object so uh, it's very easy to utilize any .NET feature uh, whichever is available for any .NET application so first we'll uh, we'll run the PowerShell IC and then we will continue with the small script and uh, okay so it's maximized uh, first thing we'll do is before we do anything I have uh, I've gathered uh, just collected one icon so in C bin apps partial ico dot ico so and this is the icon so uh, this is the icon which will which will be shown in your system taskbar okay so uh, we continue here so um, before we do anything I uh, will add the type uh, with the type and that will be assembly name system dot windows dot forms okay we'll test it okay this assembly is loading correctly and uh, so we'll clear the screen also okay uh, now the next thing what we're going to do is um, I will create a function uh, that will pop up but that will come later um, first we'll create one uh, variable called um, balloon and uh, here um, we will use a new object and that will be the system dot windows dot forms dot notify icon okay so uh, this is the object we are creating and uh, the object will be stored in this variable called balloon you can use any name whichever you want uh, once we have this uh, then we'll set dollar icon equals to info so uh, this is the title of the uh, balloon pop-up and then we have uh, balloon dot icon and that is set to system dot drawing dot icon and then we set it to extract associated icon and then we mention the path which uh, we mentioned here and uh, we'll, we'll provide the full path ico dot ico that is the name right okay now we have the icon set for the balloon and then we'll add some more properties for the balloon uh, one is the balloon tooltip icon so that will be that will be dollar icon and then dollar balloon dot balloon tooltip text Okay, and that will be the uh, message so uh, we set the message as as this is the message uh, this message will finally use as a variable to the function and uh, that can be passed as a parameter 
So and this is the message and then dollar balloon dot tip dot balloon tip title and this is the title and that also we will declare here oops okay so the title will be something like this is my title okay oops okay so this is the title for that and then we'll set balloon as visible set the property as a true and then dot balloon dot show balloon tip and we'll set the delay Um, before that, we'll declare the variable as delay. I will set delay to five. So, and we'll make it as a integer. And rest all you can cast as string. Not a problem. You can do it any time. Dot delay. Dot delay into because the delay will be in a, in a unit of a millisecond so we can try that then um, before we close this I don't just don't want to be there for always so we'll start sleep with the second delay of uh, the delay itself same variable so um, this will pop up for five seconds and after this this balloon variable will be disposed okay because if we don't dispose what will happen it will it will remain there forever and uh, that is something which we don't want will pop up multiple times if the status needs to be given to the user or you can you can uh, keep it there for a longer time and change the tool tip or the message uh, time to time so I think this should be working okay so we run it uh, we can see a message over here so that shows my title uh, what we can do now is uh, we can create a function that can be used multiple times to show the balloon pop-up and we can pass these variables as a parameter to that just have to put a comma here better readability and uh, so we have this function and we uh, okay this is uh, the function name so you can call it if we will use the same is the first one and this one is the title for that and this is the delay so a delay will set as a default and you can increase wherever you want so i think this function is ready our title we will not use default so we can use them and remove these these are not required now you run it you can see this is the message and runs for some five seconds and goes away you can have a bigger message this is this is more than sufficient or you can go with bigger message 
as well. If you know you run it, you can see this is the message. This is more than sufficient. So you can see the icon and um, and in the taskbar, I'll, I'll increase the delay to some 15 seconds so that you can understand this what is the use of icon so this is the message uh, which is as an info and if you see this will be there for some time this is the icon which will be displayed similar to this virtual box icon you have one more icon here and that will go so now you, you see it's gone it has got disposed and, and also uh, you can increase this delay uh, to certain number whichever you want to set it so i think uh, this was all about this thanks for watching this video